I, I, I consider this show has been a complete blooper. I mean, we're always doing bloopers. <laughs> this is a live blooper. The whole thing from start to finish has been improv, so Michael will be very proud of us. But here's the thing. All the way through, we knew that we'd have some challenges the minute that my internet dropped out and my laptop froze. We knew it, but as long as you've got your momentum going, people will very quickly accept that this is all we have. Are we going to stay? Are we not going to stay? If we are, then let's go for the duration. And so what you have to do is a thing called forward progression. Now, forward progression is something that's used in radio. And so forward progression is if you back announce the song that you've just heard, then people go, oh, yeah, that's what the song was. Great. Okay, let's listen to something else. So you never talk about what's just gone. You talk about what's coming up all the time. And so people then will stay longer because you say, coming up, we've got a song by them, them, and I'm going to give you a chance to win $1,000. All that on the show in 10 minutes' time. So they go, oh, yeah. 10 minutes, and they stay in the car. So we're telling people all the time what's coming up so they don't go, that was really embarrassing and, and amateur, wasn't it? And so we've got away with it so far, <laughs> kind of. But you know, the funny thing is, I mean, and this is this clip you're going to love because even – the super professionals, which are doing this live, they are doing the biggest bloopers. So the big learning point for you is, you know what? If you're going to be online, you're going to be doing this. Don't be stiff. I mean, just enjoy it and have a good laugh because, of course, that's going to make a big difference. Let's just have some. Uh, let's just have a look at some of the bloopers that some of the pros do. Have a look. I like to eat candy corn one color at a time. If you're really getting OCD you're a about it. Well, I'm not always a nibbler. I'm kind of a gobbler. <laughs> I eat a lot of candy. <laughs> it's a, a sausage competition that I judge. Oh, in like sausage eating? Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. <laughs> it's for charity, and uh, you can get uh, tickets online at Pick a Dick. Pick. Oh, <laughs> no. Well, you're thinking about sausage, so. <laughs> And if you're making last minute dinner plans, you may have a hard time getting in some of the titties in some of, in some of the city's top spots. Can I try one of these? Courtney, I would love to see my meat in your mouth. So I've got a burger ready to go Not for you. Time, I've heard that. And now for a full look at your forecast with Astrid. Maybe we can canoodle before you get into it about, um... We're not going to be canoodling. The tits. It's linnets. Linnets. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Abbott still needs to be erect, ele er, elected first. Um, Let's get excited about that 69. I mean, yeah. that's pretty good this time of year, isn't it? I, yeah. I know you're excited about the win, but no, no, how about that 69? Dallas Mavericks Championship trophy was also on display this morning for fans to get an up-close look. At the, just the trophy, of course. Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio. One million BT customers could see their balls, uh, bills fall. We're waiting to hear from Jeremy, Cump, uh, Jeremy Hunt. By and large, though, it is simply a lovely winter's day tomorrow. Bucket loads of, con of, uh, of sunshine across central and eastern areas. If you'll remember, last year he was dealing with a bulging dick, disc issue rather in his lower back. Now let's go back to the hose. Uh Oh, oh, that's not a terrible. Back to the hoses. Goodness gracious. Well, I won't be talking well, to the rose expert anymore. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, uh, you can ask me anything about peonies. I love um, peonies. Oh, flowers. Peonies. Yes. Peonies. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, Come on, Ben. Get your shit together. That's all you got? Get your stuff together. That's what I meant to say. Joining us in our studio now is the leader of Scottish Labour. Labour, sorry. Uh, Kezia Dugdale. Thanks very much for... Uh, being with it. California is farting, is, is, excuse me, fighting. The police department in California is taking an unusual approach to catch porn pirates red-handed. Porch pirates, yes. Oh, <laughs> off, pardon me. <laughs> to say their final goodbyes to this fallen Louisville police officer, D.D. Mega Doo Doo. I'm sorry, Mangudu. Starting at Houghton Avenue and going all the way to State Avenue. Drivers are down to the single lane in each direction. When my son was teething, he used to like to take the big fat rubber end of my vibrating toothbrush and put it in his mouth on. Okay. And he'd just kind of sit there like, oh yeah, that feels good. That hits the spot. Hi guys, I just met her. Yeah, fantastic. She has some nice titties. Those stories and Steve McKay has more on a soggy fox, soggy forecast. Winter weather warning right now. Here's a live look at the Fox 6 snow stick. This is out on the weather dick. Sure you needed it, Annie. Did you get many spankings as a kid? Uh, as a kid? No. 
No, I'm, I'm not, wait. Wait a minute, wait a I mean, minute, I'm, wait a minute. One way to do a turkey call is, is, is with this gobbler, and it has a little, a, a little diaphragm in it that <laughs> allows the air to, to vibrate. You should try that. Okay, I would love yeah, to. go ahead. Right. I want to see this. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no just, nobody's serious. <laughs> <you. laughs> that, no, no. that just wasn't right. Yeah. I feel for every single one of those clips because I've been there and I've said it and I've got it wrong and I've got it right afterwards and sometimes you can't do anything because it's just come out. And the thing is because every show gets broadcast and they they, they make a, um, a recording of everything, whether it's radio or otherwise, you can go back and hear the bloopers, but you don't want to because it's just accidental. And all it takes is for you to start talking and then get distracted and then come back and then it bang, it hits you. But I do yeah. remember that my friends and I used to have a running joke where we used to do an event, and uh, what we would do is we had to get a word out chosen by the team live. And you had to get it out and swallow it up into a sentence so nobody would know it was out there. And I remember one time one of the guys said it, and then corpsed. Corpsing means you forget to you start laughing. So he started laughing and left that word hanging in the air. I won't say what the word was. I'll tell you when we're off air. But it was uh, it was kind of shocking. So you have to be so careful what you can and can't get away with. Keeping it straight can be boring. Keeping it too rude can be too far. There was a guy called PJ Proby in the 70s or 60s. Obviously, I wasn't around at the time. Well, just a smile on my dad's face. And um, he went on stage one time. He was an Elvis impersonator kind of guy. Went on stage, did his song. And as he finished it, he split his trousers. And everyone started talking about it. So from that point on, every time he went on stage, he split his trousers. So maybe sometimes it's worthwhile having that routine and getting it wrong because that's what people want to come and see. So, yeah, the point here is, I mean, if you're going to be creating your virtual personality, you shouldn't be afraid of making mistakes. What you should be afraid is actually looking stiff. How many times you have gone in doing a Zoom meeting and you're completely stiff and no, we are going to be doing this. You're going to be doing that. And I think the big thing that uh, I have really learned to love while doing the Toilet Paper Diaries is the fact that uh, we can just really be ourselves. We know that things are going to go wrong. And it's just uh, we have to figure out how we're actually going to get them back on track. And then we have editing, which is our best friend. So it's, a, it's, it's a, actually uh, that has helped me grow tremendously. Thanks for watching the show. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you watch all the videos over here. There's two choices for you. Or, of course, uh, I'm Dave Crane coming from Dubai. And this is Ernesto Verdugo coming from Houston. And I think we should send a message. Hold on. Uh, what is this? Hello. 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 Subscribe, make sure you do, otherwise you're gonna miss out on all the brand new shows, all the tips, tricks, tools, and techniques, and you'll get none of them. And what's even worse is we'll have to get proper jobs.